This video will show you how to monitor serine, threonine, or tyrosine kinase enzyme activity by using the universal HTRF kinase assay method. This biochemical assay provides you with all the information for kinase assay optimization to determine the best quantity of substrate, enzyme, or detection reagents to use. Thanks to this method, more than 200 kinases have been tested. The enzymatic buffer has been optimized for all kinases tested, and each recipe is provided in the technical notes available on our website. How does it work? During the enzymatic step, in the presence of ATP, the STK biotinylated substrate will be phosphorylated by the kinase. Then during the detection step, the phosphorylated biotinylated substrate will be detected on the one hand by the STK antibody labeled with europium cryptate, and on the other by the streptavidin XL, thus allowing a TR fret signal to occur. Today we will show you how to proceed with the HTRF kinase for measuring serine threonine kinase activity with S1 substrate. The kit includes everything you need. STK substrate 1 biotin, streptavitin XL665, STK antibody cryptate, enzymatic buffer, detection buffer. Start by preparing the substrate and detection reagent stock solutions by reconstituting the lyophilisates with distilled water. Prepare 1x enzymatic buffer by diluting the buffer fivefold with distilled water and supplement it with the appropriate cofactors. Then prepare all the working solutions. STK substrate, kinase, and ATP are diluted in the supplemented enzymatic buffer while the two detection reagents, SAXL and STK antibody cryptate, are diluted with the detection buffer that contains EDTA used to stop the enzymatic reaction. Let's start your assay. For the enzymatic step, dispense four microliters of enzymatic buffer with two microliters of STK substrate one biotin, two microliters of kinase, and two microliters of ATP. ATP will start the reaction. Seal your plate and incubate it at room temperature. The incubation time will depend on the kinase activity. Remove the sealer and add 10 microliters of premixed solution of SAXL665 and STK antibody cryptate for the detection step. Seal your plate and incubate it again for one hour at room temperature. Remove the plate sealer and read on an HTRF compatible reader. The TR fret signal is proportional to the phosphorylation level. Congratulations! You have successfully implemented an HTRF kinase assay in less than two hours. If you need more information, please visit our website or contact your local representative.